What's up, everybody? Welcome to the first review rewind for the Cinema Asylum podcast, where we take out a look at a movie a couple years old or more. Could be very old at some point. Like you. Shut up. And we will uh, look back at movies. Uh, we're not going to do like super, super popular movies, but uh, well, I, they won't be talked about as much anymore. So like uh, a movie I want to do is Blood Diamond. It mm-hmm. won five Oscars, but nobody talks about it anymore. So we're going to take a look at old, older movies and look back at them and see how they are today. Yeah. Some of us will have seen the movies before, but it won't, we won't have seen them for a while. So, yeah, uh, the first movie we're doing is The Man with the Iron Fists. There's not a lot to say about this movie, truthfully. Uh, it's made by Quentin Tarantino and Wu-Tang Clan. If that tells you how the movie's going to go, or, sorry, if that doesn't tell you how the movie's going to go, then uh, I don't know. <laughs> um, this movie was a lot of fun. It's a kung fu movie. It is a kung fu movie. Hence the Wu-Tang Clan part. <laughs> yes. Um... It was just a lot of fun. Um, uh, and we watched the unrated director's cut, by the way. Yes, we did. <laughs> I'm so glad that that's the movie we watched second today. Because if we had started with it, it was... Uh, I, sorry, I got tripped up on my words a little bit. Um, we kind of started out rough with ISS. Yes, that was not good. <laughs> More on that on our... Uh, ISS official episode. review episode, yep. um, but this this movie, uh, I had a lot of fun watching it. Uh, it was well done, of course. Uh, the CGI for Batista's character was really shitty at parts. <laughs> yeah, but, it wasn't uh, made to be a good movie though. Yeah, it, I feel like it was made to be a fun movie. You know, it was. I'd say it was kind of like a. They say like some movies about like, um. They're exploitation movies. Yeah. And I say this is kind of like a martial arts exploitation movie. Mm-hmm. That's what it is, yeah. I feel like that for the most part, all the actors did really good. Yeah. And um, it, it had a pretty solid cast, too. It did. Lucy Liu, Russell Crowe, mm-hmm. Batista. Yeah. And this was before Batista became known as an actor. Right. You know, like, obviously everyone knew him because of WWE, but... What, he, you got a Batista bomb? He, there was a Batista bomb in this movie. I I popped for that because that was that's one of my favorite WWE finishing moves. Um, shut up, Matthew. Shut your face. I did. I said nothing. D- yeah, I know what you were thinking. Um, <laughs> what Dylan said. Anyway. Um, Come on. So, uh, this movie was basically. Loads and loads of violence and loads and loads of sex. But it wasn't actually graphic. <laughs> it, sh- it For as graphic as it was, it wasn't graphic. <laughs> there was a lot of sex and no nudity that I saw, at least. I, yeah. Maybe, I'm, maybe I missed something. I don't think there was. Um, there was also dude shitting, which was interesting. While people are walking by as he's looking relieved. Yes. Just, they look by and walk by and look at him as he's like, Ugh. Uh-huh. <laughs> Hey, we've all had shits like that. We have. Um, when you gotta go, you gotta go. Yeah. <laughs> um, but yeah, uh, there's not much else to say about this movie, really. Uh, the cast was great. They all did phenomenal in their roles. Um, With Wu-Tang making it, no surprise. Uh, yeah. One of the guys from Wu-Tang Clan was the main character. Yeah. <laughs> uh, it was a really fun movie. Mm-hmm. The blood was crazy, like... The yes. gore, the gore was hardcore. It it was definitely a standout. Uh, yeah, I just had a lot of fun with this movie. It wasn't meant to be a good movie. It was just a fun movie. And if you enjoy martial arts, and don't mind like crazy stuff in it, like this is not for the young fans of Cobra Kai. This is for adults. That like hardcore martial arts and yeah, it's beheadings, 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 beheadings. Let's not stop myself. But yeah, it was a lot of fun. 
Um, I love Batista as a villain. Yes. Yeah, he he. That last fight was crazy. His skin turned to metal, and like the man with the iron fist, which is RZA of Wu Tang Clan, like punched straight through the metal and like completely caved in his stomach. And then he did like some kind of move at the end, and it just turned Batista into little pieces. Like the wind started blowing, and he just shattered into little pieces. It was amazing. What? I was gonna say a joke. Oh. Can I say a joke? Yes. I was gonna say, was his life cut into pieces? Was it his last resort? Yeah, there was suffocation and no breathing. <laughs> yeah, um, Russell Crowe got all the ladies in this. <laughs> he did. Russell Crowe was as much of a lady slayer as John was. Ooh boy. <laughs> but hey, he loves his girlfriend. Yes, he does. <laughs> Yeah, there's not much else to say about this movie. It was it was really, really fun. Really fun and really violent. <laughs> and a lot of sex. <laughs> uh yeah, it not much else to say. Like it was a good warm up review rewind, but next time we'll pick one with a little bit more to talk about. Uh which you yeah. picked out the next movie out actually. You wanna see what the next one is? Have I already picked it or am I picking now? You already picked it. Uh, we're going to be doing Apollo 18. Yeah, I, I don't remember if I've ever seen that, so that'll be good. I don't think I've seen Ooh, it. Ooh, I saw it at the drive-in with my mom when it first came out. Nice. It's so good. I know it's sci-fi horror, so it's going to be right up my alley. Yes. I cannot wait for that. Uh, so it's, we, it's not going to be as legendary as Alien by any stretch of imagination, yeah. but... Uh, Nothing will touch Alien in terms of sci-fi horror. Well, uh, I, okay. something might, eventually... The only things that come close are the first Predator and the the, the thing nineteen eighty two. I think that there I think that there's always still a possibility of something like Stellar coming out. Yeah, there's always the possibility. But as, as of right now, know. nothing can touch it. Like you, you did not see a that. water bottle. Yeah, you did not see that. Nobody saw that. Dylan! Matthew knocked over his water bottle! Everybody saw that. God but- damn! Oh, Dylan's coming in here. We're in trouble. He's going to shove that up your ass. That's amongst funny. other things. He's going to be spanking both of us. He can spank me anytime. Uh, yeah. Giving it a, a rewind star rating. What do you give it? Out of five. Five? five. <laughs> yeah, definitely a five. It's, it's so good. Like, it is. It's one of those that, you know, like you said, it's not made to be a good movie. You know, it's made to be a fun movie, and that's exactly what it is. It is a fun movie. Quentin it delivered Tarantino, on all that, yeah. Yeah, Quentin Tarantino knocked it out of the park. Yeah. That's all I've got to say about it. Yep, so we will see you for our next Rewind with Apollo 18. See you guys later. Bye!